So hi, one of the Good Nights podcast with Melancholy Machines for an SM some questions today. I'm gonna start. So what inspired you to start the project, and what does the project name mean? Uh, so originally, I uh, released two EPs uh, on Bandcamp uh, in 2018, I think it was, under uh, the name Dan is Quiet, and I recorded them like on a really awful Chromebook microphone. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it was it was terrible, and uh, I privated them. Uh, really quickly once. <laughs> I privated them uh, really quickly once you know I realized that the they don't really reflect the sound you know like current mm -hmm. and uh, I just learned guitar because originally I played with ukulele and uh, yeah uh, the name um, so in 2019 like late 2019 I was doing theatre rehearsals because uh, I work at a theatre company and uh, beforehand i would like uh explore like my like town stores and like record stores and it'd be really really cool and that yeah. inspired me a lot um and i was walking back and the name just popped like immediately in my head it was really uh, a <laughs> lonely robot and the melancholy machines and then oh. i realized that uh lonely robot was a uh, an existing artist so i just cut oh. out and uh yeah melancholy machines oh, wow. wow that's really cool Sweet. thank you yeah, of course. Uh, so congrats on your upcoming release, Worried. How do you feel the response to the album so far, to the people you've shown it to, since at the time of release, it isn't quite out yet? Yeah, it's mainly feedback has been really, like, positive. Uh, people, like, are on board. People are, like, excited for it, which is really supportive and really, like, nice to hear because, you know, it's just uh, getting a fan base of people, which is mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Sick. All uh, right. So can you tell me a little bit about your writing process for that album? So, um, like, I get blips of writing in my head. Like, every so often, like, a line or a stanza just appears. And uh, I just have to, like, write it instantly. I've had, like, a few times where I've just, like, about to go to sleep and the perfect line will just appear. And I have to type mm -hmm. into Google Docs at, like, 3am in the morning, burning <laughs> my retinas. Um, oh, my God. So, yeah. And then once I have the line down, I just continue to uh, go against it and, like, process all of my thoughts into words. Okay. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> Except the retina burning part. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's not as cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So where was your headspace while creating this album? Um, so, yeah, as, as mentioned previously, like late 2019, I uh, worked in a theatre company and that's like mm -hmm. the main inspiration beyond, behind the album. Um, like certain events like, like uh, leading up to the album. And it's based like heavily on nostalgia as well. Like past yeah. events, childhood, that kind of thing. Okay. Ooh. All right. All right. Uh, so, what band or artist influences do you think you can hear the most on this album? Uh, definitely modern baseball, uh, the Ooh. Midwest emo re like revival kind of thing. Uh, my main like my main inspiration is uh, Car Seat Headrest. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Uh, yeah, it's he's but like inspired me beyond belief with like lyricism production ethics uh, he's also the reason i uh, discovered Bandcamp and you know putting my music out there and that uh, sort of ethos thing that's really cool yeah right. that's really cool sick good inspirations yeah uh so since the album isn't out yet and people don't know what to expect i want you to describe this album in three words off the top of your head as fast as you can so much c sharp minor <laughs> <laughs> okay yeah 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 okay yeah that works that works all right mm -hmm. we'll let it slide Solid. <laughs> we'll let it slide um so this album it's not even out yet uh are you do you have anything else that you're working on that you can tell us about aside from the album i have uh, a couple of like uh projects in the working i'm uh like desperately uh getting ready to tour with the album like in open mic nights and small venues and that kind of thing obviously with mm -hmm. the covid restrictions it's been very difficult to do that but um i am getting out there contacting people uh and yeah i've uh, recently started college for music production so uh, there are a lot of people with different music tastes so you might expect i don't know an ambient <laughs> two-hour noise album okay. oh my god <laughs> middle core track and then ambient noise track on the same yeah album. absolutely yeah okay oh my god i that. can't wait <laughs> Thank you. yeah so where do you see the project in the next five years? Uh, I, I'm imagining like a concept album because I've mm -hmm. like, I've wrote a few stories like that, are, you know, I would like to portray and tell. 
um especially like a punk album that would be really cool like i've got a an existing story in my head um which follows like a narrative and that kind of thing and that'd be really cool to put out and uh, have like a team behind it Ooh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god exciting. wait would that just be in the span of five years or in like just whenever uh hopefully in the next five years yeah okay cool 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 uh, so for the last couple of questions, we're actually going to shift away from music and go straight to death row. Uh, so if you're <laughs> on death row, what would your last meal be with a drink? Okay, so I have heavily researched this. Okay. <laughs> um, and <laughs> okay. Basically, uh, there's a company in the UK called Pot Noodle. I'm guessing you guys have, it's the equivalent to uh, cup noodles, I'm guessing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, yeah, I yeah. hope so. Uh, they taste really good. They're really starchy and really unhealthy. Oh. But it's been like <laughs> it's been like I don't know one of those tastes that like sticks with you. Yeah, that'd be really cool to have, and a glass of Oasis, which I think is also exclusive to like European countries. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what is it? Uh, it's it's a um, it's a soft drink. It is it's like a a non fizzy soft drink. Oh, okay. that's cool. All right. My UK my UK folks will just be like. Uh, yeah, I know what he's on about. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so if you could live in one fictional world for a week, um, where would a you fictional live? world? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Maybe in like uh, a Cartoon Network animation, if that's Ooh. cool. I don't yeah. uh, exactly know which one, <laughs> but maybe like the amazing world of Gumball, maybe. Oh, taste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, so I have the honor of asking the last question, and every single person we've spoken to has said it's the most important question. What is your favorite color? Boom. <laughs> I would have to say to the most important question of the Good Noise podcast. My favorite melancholy machine's favorite color is purple. Purple. Okay. You have a specific shade of purple. Uh, <laughs> maybe like dark purple. Ooh. Right. I don't Taste. know the exact hex code for <laughs> color. Um, yeah. So as I said, that is all the questions we have today. Is there anything that you would like to plug? Uh, yes. Uh, melancholymachines.bandcamp.com for the album release worried November 28, 2020. And I would just like to say thank you for bringing me on to the podcast. It's been super cool. And I really like what you guys do. Thank you. Thank you for coming on. Uh, This has been Melancholy Machines and we are the Good Noise Podcast.